stone is over in the cemetery. I died in 1882. And I will be your tour guide today. So if you follow me. Morris and I were the uh, most active founders of the church. My name is listed as the first name of the Royal Char uh, Charter uh, that was uh, granted to the Christ Church in 1738. Most of my life I was a farmer and justice of the peace. I'm very proud of my ability to read and write, which served me well in commerce as well as in law. I died in April 1738 and I was buried on the Glebe. The Glebe is a, an income producing a church property. I bequeathed 438 acres of my, my land when I died and donated that land as the Glebe to the church. The proceeds of that plea and pew rents were the main income back then for the church. Our parish has records of uh, firewood auctions that were held on the Glebe, which is further evidence of the income producing in activity on the Glebe. Until 1824, when the parish uh, house was built, the Glebe also was uh, where the rector of the parish lived. The Glebe was split in 1854 between Christ Church Shrewsbury and Christ Church Middletown. Christ Church Middletown at that time became its own parish. I was buried on the Glebe in 1739 after my death. And I was reinterred here, right here, in uh, 1906, after the Glebe was was uh, the part of Shrewsbury Parish, was sold to the German William Rauch. This stone this here belongs to Lewis Maris Morris Ashford, who is uh, buried right here on the footprint of the church. It originally had a, a steel plate on it with inscription of Lewis Maris Ashford. This was melted down during the Revolutionary War because they needed the, the metal for war efforts. The plain stone was reinterred for me and is what you can see today. I also want to elaborate a little bit on some rumors that associate me to the pirate William Kidd, who was hanged in 1701. Some people even said the donation of, of my, the land as a glebe to the church was due to my bad conscience, due to this association. All I have to say to that is poppycock. <laughs> Thanks to the uh, Shrewsbury historian, Louis Yost, who set back the, straight the records, uh, my name was Claire laid on. She is buried right here in front of the church after she had died and passed away in 1999. Thank you very much for your interest. Thank you. Thank you, William. Now, before we go on, I want everybody to 
everybody. Take a look at this stone right here. This one right here. This is the oldest headstone that we can find in this cemetery in the graveyard. It's 19 or 1719. And it belongs to Benjamin Stell. Now, the Stells, this is it's made of slate, and you don't find slate headstones in New Jersey. The Stells lived in Rhode Island and they traded with New Jersey and when when Benjamin Stell died, the headstone was shipped to New Jersey. Now we're gonna go and meet a gentleman from the Gilded Age. I am my clothing is 1890s. Okay. So it just says that we can use the jars there. I don't think this is my life for the first time. I hope people are living back. This is all I did on the website.